Hello YouTube, welcome to Zelloflight. Today we're going to be talking about spark plug fouling, what it is, how to avoid it, and what to do if it happens to you. First of all, in case you haven't noticed, this is a simulation, and if you're flying in real life, you probably shouldn't take the word of some random dude on the internet. So if you want to learn more and you're flying in real life, please talk to your instructor rather than just listening to some dude on YouTube. Now, spark plugs. This is what they are supposed to look like. You notice that there's actually exposed metal where the spark can, gap can close. Now this is what a fouled plug looks like. Essentially it's just covered in gunk. It makes it so the spark is either not as strong or there's no spark at all. Now this is a problem because piston engines work on the principle of suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. And you need all four of those cycles in order for the engine to run properly. With less bang, there's less power, which, as it turns out, can be a real problem when you're flying. Now, heading inside the aircraft, in this case, the beautiful A2A Simulations Piper Cherokee inside prepared version 4. Now, we can see that if I open up the maintenance hanger, that it says right here that my spark plugs are badly fouled and I need to lean out more. Now, the reason my spark plugs are fouled is because I'm sitting here with the engine running. My mixture is full rich. That is very important. My engine is at idle or very close to idle, my mixture is full rich. This is the main cause of spark plug fouling. When you're sitting on the ground, either setting up your GPS or doing whatever, you have to have your mixture back. I usually pull mine back as far as it can possibly go without the engine running rough, which when the spark plugs aren't fouled can sometimes be as low as 20%, uh, sometimes 30%, but you can see my engine's running incredibly rough now and I'm at 40% mixture. So if I put the mixture all the way back, you'll notice the engine runs pretty well. You don't really notice anything is wrong. So the number one thing to do to avoid spark plug fouling is just to have your mixture back. But the other interesting thing, before I go too much farther, the other interesting thing that I want to talk about in this particular model is if you go in here into the engine, you can change your spark plugs. Now, the easiest way to fix spark plug fouling in this simulation is to simply change your spark plugs, select one, oh, click OK, go back, click the other. Now, you notice there's two spark plug types. One's massive fine and one, the other one's fine wire. The massive spark plugs foul much more easily than the fine wire ones. That's why I have them selected here because for the purposes of this video. Normally I would fly with the fine wire ones just simply because they're a lot less likely to foul. Now if I head back out, you'll notice the engine seems to be running pretty normal. And in fact, I'm sitting here at the run-up run area, and if I do my run-up, and take the engine up to 2,000 RPM, it seems to be running a little bit lower. If you look at the RPM gauge, it's, it's bouncing around actually quite a lot. But if you, look, if you listen, it doesn't seem to be going too horribly. Now this is where the run-up is incredibly important and it's incredibly important to check both of your magnetos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my right magneto, I'm gonna go to the left, and you'll notice I have a drop much more than what's allowable. With this drop, you cannot fly. You will not have enough power to take off. I go back to both, back to 2000 RPM. Now if I go to my right magneto, same thing. Now sometimes if your plugs aren't as badly fouled, maybe one magneto will have a large RPM drop and the other one won't. But either way, if you have a large RPM drop, when you just turn off your magnetos, that's a real problem. So what we can do now to actually help fix the spark plugs, to help fix the fouling, if we don't, it, without going into the settings and changing the spark plugs, because that's kind of cheating, a way you can clean them out is burning out the gunk, essentially. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go into my stopwatch mode here. And I'm going to have make sure my parking brake is on. And I'm going to just put the throttle on flat out. And once the engine's up and running, I'm going to pull the mixture back as far as I can with the engine still running smoothly. So right now it's starting to break up a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more back in. And then I'm going to start my timer. start my stopwatch. Come on, there we go. Once we go for about a minute, they should be mostly cleared. 
and I'll see you back then. Okay, so it's been a minute and I was able to pull the mixture back a little bit and still keep smooth, uh, the engine running smoothly. I am going to let it go a little bit longer because it's still running a bit rough. Okay, so I'm a minute and 30 seconds later. Let's see how we're doing. Stop the clock. Pull the throttle back. I'm going to keep the mixture where it is. And I'm actually going to lean it out a little bit for now. I know it's time I'm able to go back a little bit more without getting too rough. If I go to my maintenance hangar, my message that said the spark plugs were failed is gone. My spark plug error message is gone. I'm not having any troubles now. And we can further demonstrate this by putting mixture full rich, going up to 2000 RPM and doing our full run-up procedure. At least the first part of the run-up procedure. Pretty close to 2000 RPM. Now we need to have a magneto drop less than 125. There you go. About 100 RPM. Back to both. Two clicks. About 100 RPM drop. Back to both. Idle this out. Now, the easiest way to avoid spark plug fouling, besides changing to the fine wire spark plugs, is to quite simply lean out the aircraft when you're at idle, sitting parked, doing whatever, and when you're taxiing. So like when I'm idling, I can take my mixture down to almost 30%, and then that's when the engine starts running a little rough. So I'll give it a little bit back, a little bit more, because, I don't know. Can't go too far. Okay, there we go, 40%. And we're running okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and taxi, and you'll notice that I need much more throttle than normal to taxi since my mixture's way back, and my engine runs a little rough, so I'll feed in a little bit more mixture. Just to keep the engine, just enough to keep the engine running smoothly. Okay. And then, now that I'm on the runway, I can go ahead, mixture full rich, full throttle, and we should be able to enjoy a normal takeoff. No trouble whatsoever. That's it for today. If you think this video earned your subscription and you want to see more videos from me, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or advice, please head down to the comments section below. And if you're new to Flight Sim and interested in getting started, then please check out what is currently the only other video on my channel. It's a complete getting started guide for Flight Sim. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.